Hello and welcome to the new video of Road to 2500 series. So we had a very good opponent, uh, Rabia Twitch. We had a little chat after the game. He used to be a streamer. I don't know how big he was. I forgot to ask him. But he is definitely a strong player. Uh, so it was not an easy game. Uh, let's see. Let's see how it went. So Rabia Twitch from Norway was white. He opened with e4, and I played the uh, Road to 2500 series repertoire, uh, the villager defense, entering from the Pirts. So let's not spend too much time here. We have seen these moves uh, in this uh, series already. And here an interesting uh, moment came. Uh, Rabia played uh, bishop b3. It's the first time I see this move. Um, I somehow... Um, don't think that it was necessary, but okay, it's not a bad move. Uh, I think the bishop was fine there, maybe a4 was uh, a more standard move. So I opened uh, space for my queen, controlled the d5 square, a4, and here I decided uh, to mix things up. Uh, sometimes I don't play uh, this blocking move in the Philidor, but sometimes I do. Uh, the thing is, if you can let that pawn advance, uh, the a4 pawn, or you can block it. And both approaches are good, uh, but they lead to slightly different uh, positions with some nuances um, being different. So I wanted to uh, mix things up. Uh, so I played uh, today uh, like this. And the other move was b6 or queen c7. And uh, in a few moves, another interesting moment will come. So bishop g5, h6, bishop h4, rook e8, and this was the moment. So I was afraid of the move queen e2, preparing uh, to uh, pile up on my f7 square, because I can never push d5 when the queen is on c4 because of this spin. There is always a knight d5. And if I do something normal, for example, knight f8, there is this queen c4, and I told you, I cannot push this because he can just take it, there is a pin there. So I would have to uh, block with my bishop, but then comes d5. And I was calculating all this uh, from the position before queen e2. And this is where I made a mistake in calculation. So I, I thought, okay, I go back, he takes and attacks me there. But I attack his queen and I saw, oh, but he has this. And when I take his queen, he promotes to another queen. But where was my mistake? In my mind, this bishop that just took the queen was still c8. So I thought I cannot capture the new queen. So I was thinking I'm just losing a rook. And then I thought, okay, if he plays queen e2 here, uh, I will have to uh, think of something because I cannot do knight f8, bishop a6 because I miscalculated. But actually, it works see, because you see here I can just take that queen. But that's sometimes when you calculate, some piece remains on a wrong square. Uh, that happened with this bishop. Uh, in my mind, it was here on c8. Um, luckily for me, Rabia didn't play queen e2, because who knows what <laughs> would have happened there. He played h3, which gave me some time to consolidate, to, to block that uh, diagonal, uh, the a to g8 diagonal. Now I'm in time. Uh, and then bishop g3 happened, uh, knight g6, and white decided to exchange on e5. I'm not sure if this was necessary, but it's hard to say. Um, maybe, you know, the grandmaster will know exactly. But uh, for a player like me, it's very hard uh, to evaluate these uh, little moves that change, that release the tension. Sometimes I can see it's a bad move or a good move, but here the engine doesn't like it, but I cannot really see uh, all the nuances. And then queen b1, uh, this is original. Obviously, a wife would like to go to a2 and then to pressure me here. Uh, but um, I think it's uh, better to do it this way, to go to c4, because then you can choose. You don't have to go with your queen there. Uh, this way you are uh, committed. And if you go to e2, 
then you decide. You can go there or you don't have to go. But when you play queen b1, you must go to a2. You must uh, follow up because what is queen doing on b1? So that's a slight downside. And uh, let's observe. Uh, bishop c5 was played by me and queen e2 a2, pardon, uh, it must be played, but now I'm in time. I can just block and be exchange uh, light square bishops, and here already <coughs> black doesn't have any problems. Maybe black is slightly better, but there are no problems because um, I covered against threats on e5, I covered against threats on f7, d file is uh, nobody's, so none of us can successfully capture it, but also there are no infiltration points. So, roughly balanced, there is a lot of play left. Uh, queen c4, queen b6, and now white needs to be careful. Um, I increased pressure on f2, and there is a threat. Knight h5 hitting the bishop. When the bishop moves, uh, the f2 collapses. So, in, at this moment, uh, white has to protect uh, his pawn. So he did it. Rabia is a good player. He noticed uh, my threat. And also notice that the b2 pawn, I cannot take it because my c5 bishop is always hanging. Uh, for example, here, if I take, uh, first we save the rook, and then on the next move we can pick up uh, that bishop, I think, or something like this. Yeah, uh, maybe something like this, I think. The bishop is lost. Now even the queen is lost, <laughs> yeah, accidentally. So I can never take that pawn, and this is what I noticed, and this was the reason why I missed the win uh, later. Uh, let me show you. After rook d8, rook d1, we exchanged, and I uh, went knight h5, uh, preparing to go there after white moves his bishop. And after bishop h2, I uh, first put rook d6 into play, and, and here, uh, white had to play rook e1, uh, because he now needs to protect uh, this pawn. Uh, actually, if he moves the knight, I have a way of uh, securing the bishop and then picking up the pawn. Uh, let's see. In the game, knight e3 was played, and here I missed uh, my chance uh, to win the game, uh, because after this exchange, you can also exchange a pair of rooks, and then I don't have the bishop on c5, so I can just take the pawn, and that's it. It's an extra pawn. Also, uh, this h2 bishop is not that great, so this is just lost. Uh, also, easily these pawns will uh, start marching. So, because I was always thinking that I can never take on b2, my bishop is hanging, I totally forgot that if I find a way you know, solve the problem of that bishop, then I can take on b2. So I missed that. Also, I had a plan you know, to go to a4, so I, I made this bad move, which looks nice, you know, you go into f4, you attack the rook, it looks very strong, but actually, <laughs> it's a missed win, yeah. Uh, all right, uh, rook came back, and now I set up a little trick. As you can see, the rook is attacking the knight, so there is a discovered attack threatened, and it as you can see, 36 seconds left on the clock of my opponent, and I have a minute. So, in time trouble, it's normal to um, blunder stuff. So, my opponent blundered with bishop g3. I just took uh, that pawn with check, and now when white recaptures, I can take uh, his knight. And why is this uh, position lost for white? It's not only that he has uh, lost a pawn is also that his bishop on g3 is out of play and his king is weaker and uh, he cannot really uh, attack my king. Uh, it's just uh, not possible. Also at the moment this knight is threatened and if it moves then I can maybe take here. Okay, he can prepare the movement of that knight but don't forget that the b2 pawn will be hanging. So it's just... Um, it's not that he is a pawn down, it's just the way the pieces and pawns are set up that uh, actually is um, hopeless for white. But still, you have to prove it uh, as black. So king g2, good move, and now he found a way to move his knight because my rook 
is blocked it doesn't attack there anymore so I cannot take here but now I can do another thing I can give this check and force this exchange and suddenly uh, the G file has opened up and also my heavy pieces uh, my queen and my bishop are attacking along the diagonal and if uh, white for example pushes f3 then I can go back and suddenly the queen is ready to harass the king also the rook can harass it and the second rank is weak so the, the position of a black king is a white king is very very um, problematic so that's why he didn't push f3 he defended the rook f1 but now with 30 seconds on the 36 seconds on the clock i managed to found, find a good move f3 it was taken but if it hadn't been taken uh, then you just go back with your pieces with your bishop and if ever if white ever takes the pawn he loses the b2 pawn and again the queen side majority will uh, march forward and the problem for white is his king because of his king he cannot successfully defend even if he didn't have that problem it would be hard uh, to play against this queenside majority but then he could maybe start an attack on my king but this way he cannot really stop this one of these pawns uh, either a or b is just going to promote or white can get checkmated if he transfers his pieces to the queen side so he took and the problem with that move is at the pin yeah after g6 the knight is lost of course uh, he has this move uh, which pins my pawn but after king h7 when I played this move and as you can see we both have like 12 11 seconds I thought man my position looks like it's gonna fall apart <laughs> at any moment you know everything is shaky but somehow it's just not going to fall apart. Uh, somehow white cannot penetrate. Especially, this was important to see after queen c3 because now it seems that this rook has to move and then there is a checkmate. It's If you defend the, the rook with the queen, then you lose the bishop and you didn't win the piece. But there is this move, bishop d4. It's very pretty and uh, at the first glance it looks like white is controlling that square two times and black only once but actually the knight is pinned so white can't take it and uh, now it's simple I just take the piece then I'm instead of taking the pawn I, I wanted to improve my queen as soon as possible and it was a quick finish uh, not nothing to do with how white played it's just the position is was uh, uh, hopeless at this point uh, because of that uh, one blunder or two uh, knight h3 so my opponent played really well here he showed class and resigned uh, also there is a threat of trapping the rook like this forever so white would need to play king f3 but then the pawns they just march supported with this bishop um, yeah what did I want to say um, Rabia twitch played excellently uh, he yeah he didn't win but he played good containing moves and then he made one dubious maneuver queen b1 and then um, he missed in time trouble yeah, he got into time trouble that was his only uh, thing that he did badly uh, because he thought for too long or he was distracted I didn't ask him uh, how he got into time trouble and that was the problem when you don't have enough time uh, you tend to make mistakes and then a blunder happened um, a good fighting games game sorry uh, 39 moves uh, good fight a little bit luck on my side and yeah uh, the journey continues thank you for watching see you next time bye